While the sun and warm temperatures are great, being outside right now is miserable if you suffer from allergies. You can see pollen everywhere, so why does this year seem so bad? WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski has the answer. It's everywhere, whether you see it or you don't. Many can surely feel it. My throat gets scratchy and I just feel like water is coming out of my nose all day. Pollen season is here and it's not going away anytime soon. Once the trees start popping like that, you know, the pollen just comes right out. After a week of damp, cooler than normal weather, the recent spring sunshine and milder weather encouraged a lot more people to get outdoors, but it also helped trees and flowers burst open. And a lot of folks are being impacted by it. Have you noticed the pollen levels? Yes, I've noticed uh, there's been some yellow film on my car. That's what I've noticed. This yellow film on your car is pine pollen. And while it may encourage you to get a car wash, it's not the kind of pollen that causes your allergies to spike. Pine pollen is too big and heavy to get into your nose, massive compared to the other tree pollens like birch and fir. The smaller the size of the pollen, the easier it can float in the air and more likely to agitate your allergies. My nose is a little clogged. Right now, tree pollen is running high and grass pollen is starting to increase. Tree pollen typically lasts through June, while grass pollen peaks in the spring and lasts through the summer, followed by ragweed and other weed pollens taking over in the late summer and fall. So there's just no hope. There's no getting away from this, is there? <laughs> pollen levels can vary throughout the season depending on the weather. High on days like today that are dry and breezy, lower on rainy days. With an extended period of dry weather, expect high levels of pollen throughout the week. In Boston, I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBC News.